Hey guys, how are you doing? Today I have a small project which I wanted to film for you. I want to make fire steel heads out of fluorescent material. And for this I've gotten this fluorescent powder. And this is called Strontium Aluminate. It shines in green blue and one pack has 40 grams. So I have two of these which is 80 grams together. And today I want to mix it with epoxy resin and then I can make myself a couple of these nice fluorescent fire steel handles. Okay, that's one thing that I want to do today. And also I want to pour a little bit of the stuff into this container and I'm attempting to make a flat plate. But that is something that I need for another project. All right, so now let's do a couple of calculations. So I have 80 grams of fluorescent powder and I've done an internet research and I found out that you can mix in 5 to 30 percent of this powder with epoxy resin. So I decided to go with 20 percent. So let's say these 80 grams are 20 percent. So how much more of this epoxy resin do I need? Let's quickly calculate. So we have 80 grams. 80 divided by 20 percent uh, multiplied by 100 percent. So in total we need 400 grams. Okay, so we have 400 grams minus 80, which is the powder, means that I will still need 320 grams epoxy resin. Now before I mix the epoxy resin together, I first want to create a small mold and for this I have this small container and I have this here which is some kind of modeling material and this was pretty much the only thing that I had at home maybe it's better to use something out of plastic so this will harden out and yeah I just want to give it a try and see if I can use this or not Okay, so I tried to make this as flat as possible. Okay, and this is the fire steel that I want to use today. Okay, I really like this handle of this fire steel. And this is a fire steel which I'm selling on my website. So if you're interested, just check out the link below. And today I'm going to need um, this top here. Let me see if I can get it off. Oh my god, no. <laughs> ah, I can get it off, okay, cool. Now I got it off, okay. Nice. <laughs> Pretty awesome, the sparks. Okay, this handle is made from two sides. Two pieces. So I try to do the same. And I only push down the handle into the mold halfway, exactly where the rim is here. to take my VD40 silicon spray and spray this out because then I will get the end pieces out of the form much easier and I want to do the same to the form here
Okay guys, it's the next day. So let's check out if this has hardened yet. Mm. Not really, it's still a little bit soft here and there. So I'm going to let this harden for another day. Hey folks, it's the next morning and I want to check on my project here. And it looks as if it needs more time to harden, so it's still a little bit soft. Um, I'm going to take this knife here and now I'm going to cut through here because I want them to separate and now it's still possible because it's so soft still. Okay, so after 48 hours the epoxy resin has finally hardened and now let's try to get out the handles out of the mold which is not so easy So unfortunately um, this project is a little bit fading right now so the one side which was up has hardened out and it seems like the color has separated from the epoxy resin so here it's hard and at the other side somehow the particles of the luminescent powder were much heavier and they sunk to the bottom and now the handle is still a little bit soft, so I can move it with my fingers. So that's a little bit of a problem. And the other side is hard, but not luminescent. So this turned out really good. And for some reason, it's much harder at the downside. So I cannot scratch it or so. So this became a really nice hard plate. And here the same thing happened, so the epoxy was on top and the luminescent material was collecting at the bottom but still this hardened out much better so I can still use this for another project I don't know if you can see this but this is actually glowing pretty good but there's more glow in these handles okay so it seems like these two handles are the most beautiful, also they are the most hard, so I'm sure that I can glue these together. And this one would be beautiful too, but here you can see that I can move around the material. This is not good, so there's too much of this fluorescent material in here, but these two are fine and the other ones somehow mixed up with with the mold.
Okay, so this was the old fire steel and now I have drilled a hole with 8mm of thickness. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, it fits. Cool. <laughs> see, it almost looks the same. Say hello to my new fire steel, which is glowing in the dark. Alright folks, so this is it. This is how you can make a luminescent fire steel handle with epoxy glue and some luminescent powder. And the fire steel works well. So I really want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.